Hey, this is Brian with Workshop Addict. It's the middle of January, up north, it's cold outside, so we're gonna talk about something that's near and dear to every one of us, heat. But not just heat, cheap heat. Today we have an Energy Logic EL200H waste oil heater. This waste oil heater is one of the best you can get on the market because of its customer service, its warranty, its reliability, and its ease of repair. So we're gonna go through a couple things that this machine does better than other ones and uh, can give you a general overview and show you why we chose Energy Logic. Okay, this is the business end of the unit. The oil injector, the air compressor, the oil preheater, and everything is, even the electronics up here with a timer to tell you how long the unit has ran, it's all put on this side and it takes everything through the heat exchanger down this way and obviously our fan blows the air out here. So one of the main things that this unit has compared to other ones kind of creates a little tornado inside around the injector. Energy Logic is very proud of their injector or injection system and how clean it burns and how easy it is to maintain. This unit should only take 90 minutes of maintenance once a year. So we're on the fan side where everything gets pushed past the uh, heat exchanger and out the vent. This fan is a normal fan that you'd find in most furnaces, but uh, moves a lot of air. Much more air than a normal natural gas unit that you would find. And uh, the amount of air that comes out of the vents is probably 60 to 70 degrees warmer than the actual air temperature of uh, everything in the room. Here, um, this unit can be switched around so you can have the fan on one side, kind of you remove the heat exchanger from the box, switch everything around so it can go in either direction. This is a fossil fur, uh, fuel burning unit, so you have to have triple wall pipe. On this one there's 8 inch triple wall pipe going up and also uh, there's a vent on the inside with this uh, manometer that kind of keeps everything straight so we know that we're not in trouble or breathing some bad fumes in here. Again, this, this fan will come on and off based upon temperature of the heat exchanger. So when uh, the unit first starts up, the fan will kick on slowly, might turn off to allow it to build more heat. And then as the unit turns off and starts to cool down, the fan might turn off, the heat exchanger will build some heat, the fan will turn on. It's, it's all based around trying to get the most heat out of the least fuel. This unit burns approximately 1.4 to 1.5 gallons of fuel per hour and uh, it's been very efficient and can heat up to 5,000 square feet. The way these units can be configured is either with the heating unit separate or not mounted uh, with the tank or they can be mounted above the tank. Uh, you can kind of see some of the rails back here where there's uh, structures that go up and hold the unit directly over top of the tank. Uh, this is a 250 gallon tank and uh, this unit, the 200H, will also, is also available with a 140 gallon tank. Uh, here, we've set up a uh, kind of makeshift funnel so you can pour the oil in, or uh, we actually have a pump and filter system set up so we can hook up a hose and directly pump out of large containers into this. Um, these units do go through a lot of fuel. For example, uh, we have 344 hours on it, and we're right around the 600 gallons of fuel mark. So if you're gonna consider a waste oil uh, heater, consider where you're gonna get the oil from. Uh, the average guy at home is not gonna change oil enough to feed this uh, guy, and probably not gonna to wanna to spend the amount of money that it takes to get a unit that's gonna heat 5,000 square feet. But um, farmers, excavators, uh, people who are around a lot of oil can save some money and get this. The other way that people can get oil is to go to their local township, government offices, they may give it away. Even AutoZone or people who collect oil, you might be able to find a hookup there where they'll actually give you the oil and you can save some money on gas. We'll talk about this more on our forum, so you can go to workshopaddict.com where we'll go through some of uh, the pluses and minuses of waste oil heat and kind of discuss it. So stop by. Thanks for your time. This is Brian at Workshop Addict.